Germany's highest waterfall. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? That's pretty high up to the top of the waterfall. Mm. <laughs> so it costs eight euros per adult to get in here and it's not just a the waterfall it's got um for entry to a black forest museum um, and a couple of other bits difference would it change for the better if i wrote you a poem if i posted a letter morning so we're off on a hike this morning so we stayed at like a small little campsite uh, last night in the black forest really really nice just next to a lake uh, but yeah so we've come to go climb Feldberg Feldberg mountain which is the highest peak in the black forest so should, yeah, take, should be good should take a couple of hours uh, but yeah we've just started off Lossie is loving it <laughs> And she gets to run off too far away from us. <laughs> I need that energy in my life. Yeah, every time we look at her running, it's horrible. I'm so jealous. Every single time, I'm like, <laughs> if I could just have a small, tiny bit of her energy in my life, would be so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> look at how happy she is. So this is the start of our walking route. We made it harder for ourselves by parking away from the start because it was free instead of paying. So we've already walked about half an hour to get here. <laughs> but yeah, off we go. So this is the route that we're doing. I don't know if you can see it very well. The green route. Yeah, so we're here sighting at Feldberg and we're going all the way down past the lake. Uh, but yeah, it's about 12.5 kilometres. And we should hit the top of the mountain, which is about here, isn't it? So you can see there's still small patches of snow still on the ground. But it's very warm today. We started off with like big fleeces and coats because it was really freezing this morning. And now we've stripped down t-shirts already. Yeah. <sighs> it is warm. Warm. Quite where I was and suddenly you told me maybe you lost but I am too whatever the cost we'll make it through tell me you're the one you're the one for me now cause what am I supposed So that back there was our first stop, that was Seabook, that was uh, 1,450 metres and the next stop is Feldberg which is uh, 1,493 metres. Lottie's such a mountain goat, she just loves it. She just has the best time ever. <laughs> she always runs off so far and comes all the way back and she's like, oh, come on mum and dad. <laughs> I think she, this is her best time. She just loves getting out. Yeah, she really does. Especially on like big hikes like this. She loves it most. This is why we love being able to travel this way and to take her with us. 
Chris has literally had the time of her life, haven't you, darling? <laughs> This is Feldberg, the highest mountain in the Black Forest. We made it. Just needed to let my feet have a nice breathe. <laughs> Must be having a big drink. So I was just reading one of the boards back there and it was saying that before human settlement, um, animals like um, deers and wolves and lynxes would have just been running free in this area. It's getting a bit colder now, getting into the snowy forest. <laughs> um, I don't know what's happened here. <laughs> Gotta get over the snow now. In Narnia again. Amazing are these views. It's literally thick snow and then just literally deep miles. So nice. We've just been saying how we want to get some more professional hiking equipment. So we want to get some sticks, uh, maybe some new hiking clothes and some better sunglasses as well because mine is too big for my face and they just fall off all the time. So yeah, now that we're like pro hikers, <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but yeah, I think we need to get some better equipment. So we've just basically had to come down all of that. It's quite high when you look at it from down below. The way up was so easy. It was all like really like paved. The way back down here, <laughs> it's been not quite the same. There were Christmas trees everywhere as well. So we've been walking for about two hours and 40 minutes now. And we're probably only about halfway-ish. Long way to go. So the Black Forest is literally massive. We've been in it for like days and days now. And it's like 6,000 square kilometers. Uh, yeah, which is huge. It's an amazing part of Germany though, isn't it? Yeah, massive parts, really, really good. We were saying we'd love to come back and just do this, spend like a fair amount of time here because there's so much more to see and do that we just haven't got the time. So yeah, definitely recommend the Black Forest. Oh, look how red I am. <laughs> this is hard. So we just had to take a bit of a detour because the route that we wanted to go to was closed off. It's obviously unsafe for some reason. So, uh, yeah, this is where we would have come out. Yeah, not too bad of a detour. <laughs> no, it wasn't too bad. I did a little bit extra, but not that yeah, much. Yeah, not that much. So we're almost four hours in on this and look how much energy she's still got. <laughs> it's the same as when we started. <laughs> ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So 
this is Lake Feldsey. We know we're getting to the end now. <laughs> this lake was right by the end. Can't go swimming in here. There's loads of fishes as well. That was tough. So from the lake where we just was, oh, just tie me up. From the lake where we just was, it's like just a sheer climb all the way up and we climb that high. We're now back above the snow. As you can tell, I'm out of breath and heart red, hot. Yeah, that was hard work. One of the toughest climbs of the whole walk. And we're four and a half hours in now. Yeah, not far. Made it back to the start. That was tough, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Big climb. It was. Big walk. The end bit was the hardest bit. Yeah, it was tough at the end, really tough. But now I think we're going to try and find a pizzeria. <laughs> still not the end though. Yeah, still not the full end. This cause... is the end of the trail, but we've still got about another 10 and a half kilometres to the, where we've parked the van. Stop and have some food first. Yeah, pizza first. <laughs> My God. <laughs> We've earned <been there. laughs> well, well, I don't know. This is like a, a volcano. Look at it. Look at Lottie. Lottie's just dying up the chip. Um, I love chips. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't leave the Black Forest without having some Black Forest cake. Yeah, so it famous for. Rude not to. Black Forest Gatto, Black Forest Cake, mm -hmm. all came from here. Big slice for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dead on five hours. Five hours, one minute. About 19k. Yeah, about 19k. A long way. Ooh, hard work. That hard was. work. Long way. Loads of uphill. Yeah, loads. That of kind uphill. of thing would be alright if it was flat. Yeah. Uh, well, it was not flat. 1500 meters up, 1100 meters down in elevation. So yeah, <sighs> not more uphill than it was downhill. Yeah, knackered. Knackered now. We just had to play first aid with Lottie. <sighs> what are we going to do? She had a tick. We found a tick in her neck. I've, I've been really careful about ticks because the past couple of times we've been out, well, two of the times we've been out on like quite a big walk, I've found like two small ticks that haven't bit her. I've just found them on her after we've well, they've been on you. Been out. Well, they've jumped onto me and that's how I've seen them. But um, she has been sitting next to me like both of the times that's happened. So it's obvious that they've jumped off her onto me. But this was a really big one that had bit her neck. So we just it was like it was like big gooey thing on the end of it. Yeah, they have that big black body, don't they? Um, I didn't know if it was a tick or if it was like a growth because we've not seen one like that bite her before. But when we like looked really closely, you could see its legs like yeah. moving around. Horrible. So you just have to get the tweezers and you have to be really careful because you don't want to leave any of it inside of her because it can cause infection and stuff. Um, but I think we managed to just get it all out in one piece, luckily. Yeah, and then disinfect yeah, it. Yeah, disinfect it. Wipe it with a alcohol wipe. We've got. She's got like a little doggy first aid kit. Um, yeah, so doggy first aid kits are really, really good if you're coming yeah. away. They've got loads of little bandages, so yeah. it's been so it's similar to a human one, but yeah. They have, uh, so we'll put a link in the description of the one we brought. It's really, really good. So yeah, if you if you don't know, if you ever get a tick on your dog, you have to get tweezers. Be really careful. Get it all out in one piece, and then wipe it with that alcohol wipe, and then wash your hands with soap and wash the tweezers with disinfectant as well because um but then, then they're only little things that can spread diseases and infections so you have to be a bit careful and then just check her all over yeah so then i, I checked her when we got back earlier as well i checked her all over i brushed her just to make sure that there wasn't anything but i just obviously missed her okay. neck it was just under her neck there so it was in a bit of an awkward place um because yeah, every time we go out now, I'm trying to be really careful and like check her all over before we get back in the van, just to make sure she hasn't got anything, but couldn't see anything else. But <laughs> nightmare. Like, she's it. literally, we've had Lottie for three years now. She's never had one tick in England. In the past three months of being in Europe, she's had three. Yeah. 
Yeah. She's being nosy at next door's van now. She tried to get in their van earlier. <laughs> I think she she walked up to the wrong van. <laughs> no, you can't get out. I think it's because they're having dinner, I think. <laughs> she wants their food. <laughs> this is what she does most nights. She'll just stand at the door yeah. and stand at the window just sniffing. As if she doesn't get fed. <laughs> trying to make people feel sorry for her and feed her, but it don't work. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So We're following on from our talk yesterday about ticks. Last night we found two more ticks on Lottie. One on her head and one right near her eye. A bad eye. Yeah, they, no, we've never probably never said this on here and you might not have ever noticed because probably don't film her close enough, but Lottie only has one eye anyway. Um she was born like that. So yeah, the tick was just underneath her one eye. Non existent <laughs> eye. Non existent eye. Um, so, and she had like a bit of a lump, well, quite a big lump there. When we, so we managed to get the tick out. Um, and then this morning the, the swelling had reduced a bit, which is good. Um, but we thought we'd better just go and get her checked out because she's literally never had a tick before ever in England. Um, Obviously we know there are ticks in England, but it's obviously not as much of a problem as it is here. Like the vet was just saying to us, yeah, like full of ticks. Yeah, so we took her to the vet basically this morning. Yeah, so we looked on Google Maps, found it, the closest vet, came here. Um, yeah, he checked, we just wanted him to just check her over because obviously she's never had them before. And there was we a wanted, bit left in as well on the one on her head. Yeah, we wanted to check that we'd got them out properly. Um, and he did tell us that, like, yeah, that they'd, they'd they'd come out um, it, but even if there is a tiny little bit of a tick left in a dog it's not so much of a problem it will just die off um, in humans if you get a tick and you leave a bit inside of you then it's more of a problem but in dogs not so much which made us feel a bit better um, so yeah just check the areas where the ticks were because she's got like little lumps and little cuts and he said um, yeah they seem okay and he recommended this tablet that they give to dogs in Germany so it's one tablet um, lasts for three months um, and it just uh, protects against fleas and ticks. So she already has like a monthly spot on flea treatment, um, but I don't think that that covers ticks. We've never even thought about it. We didn't, it's never been a problem in England and we didn't even realize it would be more of a problem in Europe. Yeah, so. yeah. but yeah, speak to the vet, it seems like it, it is a common yeah. thing here. He said, especially Southern Germany, yeah. Uh, where we are now, it's uh, yeah. There's quite a lot of ticks around. Yeah. So common problem here. So that's a learning point for us. We know now. We didn't know. Didn't even think about ticks before we came. But yeah. we know. So if you are bringing your now. dog to uh, southern Europe, really. Yeah, or all over Europe, yeah. really. Um, but yeah. Be prepared particularly. For a few more ticks. Yeah. Just, uh, just give them a good check um after you go out for a walk but also maybe take more preventative measures yeah so we're going to go to a pet store now as well and see what else we can buy because we know that you can get like tick collars and things like that so yeah we'll give it this tablet and see what else we can yeah. also buy he said it he said it's 100 percent effective though so yeah. he, he was really really adamant that this is yeah, really really he good really recommends it give it to all the dogs in germany uh, and it works he said um, so yeah, how much was that? 56 euros? 56 euros, yeah, for a expensive. consultation and this, yeah. but yeah. Hopefully yeah. it'll be worth it if it helps. Because we obviously, um, we're going to Switzerland next and he said be the same in Switzerland. The ticks don't stop at the border. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, yeah. So yeah, so that's our morning. So off to the pet store now to see what other things we can buy. Um, yeah, hopefully we've got them all out. Yeah, hopefully we don't find any more. She's, no. Her hair's getting longer. Yeah, uh, it's just hard to see on Lottie because obviously she's she's dark. She's got dark fur and her fur's getting a bit longer. So, God, really hard to find them on her. And she don't sit still for long enough. She doesn't like you messing with her. You know when you try and like look for them on her, she's like, oh, just get off. <laughs> she was very brave getting them out. But she was so brave last night because the one on the top of her head was really difficult to get out. We were really having to like dig at it it was really horrible to be honest i felt so bad for her i felt awful last night it's like half 11 as well yeah half 11 at night i just she jumped on the bed and i literally just touched her head like that and i was like oh god i think i can feel another one <laughs> so then we 
gave her another really thorough going over just to make sure that there wasn't any more there so fingers crossed we've got them all out but I'm gonna yeah. be really really paranoid about ticks now <laughs> oh god Welcome to Switzerland. <laughs> oh yeah, so we're literally right on the border now. Uh, we kept crossing in between Switzerland and Germany. Yeah. Here. Yeah, so we drove into Switzerland and then back into Germany. There was hardly any like border control at all. It was just like a guard stopped us, asked where we're going. Um, so we was coming here and that was literally it. Um, so I think we, the van is parked in Germany. Yeah, and, and we walked. have walked half an hour into Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit confusing. Yeah, so this is Rhine Falls. It's the most powerful waterfall in Europe. I think that's right. Something like that? Yeah, I think so. Cool though, really nice. You can get boats that go like, right up to it. There's a viewing platform over there. And you can only get to uh, by boat. It's just like right above the waterfalls. It's really cool. So you get a bit wet. Yeah. <laughs> if they get really it wet, it goes right up to it. We've got some facts on here about the falls. So they're 150 metres wide and only 23 metres tall. Um, 17,000 years yeah. old. It's been here a very, very long time. So I think it's the highest weight. The most flowed is in like May time. The difference between the lowest ever flow rate and the highest ever is yeah. quite huge. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better If I wrote you a poem If I posted a letter So you can see that that bridge over there is actually a train line We've seen a train running across it What a beautiful view from the train these people are getting so those waterfalls are on the River Rhine, which is one of the uh, main rivers running through Europe. It crosses uh, yeah, through so various it, different countries. Yes, yeah, so it crosses from, starts in Switzerland, it goes to Switzerland, Germany, France, <laughs> Austria, <laughs> and Holland, Netherlands, yeah. You can see Ryan's just fact checking on his phone there. Let's try and make sure I got it right. He hadn't memorised the facts for you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was an interesting place. We didn't get a boat, but um, I think it was about... £16. £16-ish it worked out to. To get a boat all the way around 30 it. 30-minute tour, yeah. 30-minute tour. So yeah, not too bad. So thanks so much for watching this week's vlog. Um, this week we're going to be heading out of Germany and into Switzerland. Um, so we can't wait to show you around Switzerland. We've been so excited yeah. to go there. Looks amazing. Since the start, yeah, really, really excited. Germany's been really good as well. We've really loved it. Definitely yeah. back to the Black Forest. Yeah, definitely. So uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, um, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with uh, the rest of our adventures. And we'll see you next time.